Let me show you this one verse in the book of Revelation, which is such a uh, misunderstood verse. And when, whenever I read this, I was always so frustrated. When he opened the fifth seal, since I don't have much time, I don't want to explain the seal. I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been, uh, been slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. Okay? These are, they're talking about whom? Talking about martyrs who were killed, right? And these martyrs cried out. And they cried with a loud voice saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, until you judge? Okay, now we have the word judge. Okay? You judge and what? Avenge our blood, our blood on those who dwell on earth. In other words, these martyrs are asking for what? Avenge for their blood. You know, I felt so strange about this. It does not make any sense. Why? Is it making sense to you? If it does make sense to you, you have a problem. <laughs> really, you, you do have a problem. To me, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't fit with the rest of the Bible. Okay? Why? Because martyrs are the people who know Jesus what? So well. Martyrs are kind of people who is willing to what? Willing to die for God. They have no regret. They don't need avenge. Right? Instead of avenge, they ask God what? Even though, even, even at the very moment of their death, what they were praying for? Forgiving. And asking that enemy, right? Who killed them to become a Christian, right? Amen. Yes. That's why it shouldn't make any sense if, when you read this, right? You know, if it doesn't cause any trouble in you, you have a problem, really. <laughs> and I hope that problem is healed today, tonight, okay? And here, it says, you judge and avenge. So judge and avenge goes what? Hand in hand. It was exciting when I saw this. Ha! Huh. So, if I don't understand the word avenge, then I don't understand the word what? Judge. Yes. If you think that these martyrs are asking what? The real avenge which you think what avenge is, then judgment is a terrible thing, right? Yeah. Okay? But you know what? When Stephen was martyred, huh? or murdered, whatever, right? Yeah. By Apostle Paul, right? What do you think Stephen was praying? Father, so he actually forgave that? Father, please forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. But on top of that, I know Stephen prayed, Father, that Paul. That Paul, you know, please convert him. If he gets converted, he'll do what? I think he'll do a good job. I think Stephen really prayed for Paul. Right? Do you think Stephen is uh, saying, Oh God, how long you are not going to kill them? <laughs> you know, how long we have to wait until you avenge your blood? No, no, that's not the Bible. See? So therefore, we need, to, we need to understand what the biblical avenge means. When God avenges somebody, right, what does he do? See? So I begin to search the word avenge. 
in the scripture. I refuse to accept biblical events as if it is what? My events as a sinner. You understand? Yeah. God's events is a different events than our events. God is a holy person. His events is a holy events. How then holy events should be different from my sinful events? Right? So, I looked for the word events. I found in the Roman Roman chapter 12. Look at this. Then you have, uh, you know the truth tonight and you have freedom in the Bible reading. We pay no one evil for what? Evil. God is asking us do not repay evil for what? Evil. So this alone is already what? In conflict. Right? So martyrs should never what? Ask God to repay evil for what? Evil. Right? Now you, we, we are opening the door now, right? Now. Have a regard for good things in the sight of all men. If it is possible, as much as it depends on you, live peaceably with what? All men. Beloved, do not avenge yourselves. Why? Why God is asking not to avenge ourselves? Because if we do, we're going to kill them. Right? God does not want to see that happen. God loves everyone. God loves my enemy who kills me too. See? God want to make everyone live. Right? So, do not avenge yourself, but rather give place to what? Wrath. Okay. Give place to wrath. Paul understands wrath in strange way different from our understanding of the wrath again. Now here, judgment, right? Avenge. Now what? Wrath. Okay. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay. Repay, says the Lord. Therefore, if your enemy is hungry. So now Paul is explaining what? How to avenge your enemy. <laughs> When you, what? When you put your enemy into what? Wrath of God. Right? Then it says what? Therefore, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink. For in so doing, you will heap the coals of fire on his head. You know, when I was, a long time ago, when I was reading this, I ignored this, you know. Uh, feed him, you know, give him a drink. And I only read this, call of fire. <laughs> no wonder, you know, God has his way of avenging my enemy. <laughs> what a sinful way. Does it really say that? What you think? No. Now you need to know, what is this call of fire mean? Do you know where this fire came from? Call of fire? See, whenever Paul uses, whenever Paul writes scripture, he always uses what? Old Testament concept, right? He brings word from the Old Testament. Have you ever seen calls of fire from Old Testament? Hmm? Altar, that's right. If you read Ezekiel, right? And when Ezekiel saw, the throne of God, there was a cause of fire. See? From the throne. See? When Isaiah says, Isaiah chapter 6, Oh, I'm in trouble because what? I saw God with unclean lips. And then, yeah, 
the angel took what? Call of fire from altar and touched his lip and his lip was cleansed. So call of fire means it is Holy Spirit of forgiving power. See? Yeah. Cleansing. See? So, putting call of fire upon your head of your enemy means what? Make him feel he is totally what? Forgiven. By you and by what? By God. That's the way you are going to avenge your enemy. When you express that, when you show him that, then your enemy will say, you forgive me? Then he says, now I know why you forgave me. It's because you're God. That means your God forgave me too. Even though I did such a horrible thing for you. Then you can say to him what? Of course. Then he will have a spark. He will have a tremendous what? Love coming from God. Then he will have what? Tears in his eyes. Okay. Now, God forgave me, you forgave me. I want to go to your God myself. So he decided to become a Christian. That is a vengeance, isn't it? That's the way God want to avenge my enemy. Amen, Amen right? Where is whooping? Yes. <laughs> this is what spark is. When you know this kind of God, right? When you didn't know this, Avenger, heaping the call of fire, wow. He is a sort of mean too, you know? <laughs> then can you love that God, right? No, no. That's why you lose meaning for your life. See? When you say God is your creator, and you cannot love him, how much meaning to love, meaning for your life you have, right? You don't. When meaning, when love creates meaning, right? Oh, I was elated, you know. Yes. Now, that means wrath is different from what you think too, right? I'll explain wrath later, you know. This is amazing. So, now we go back to the Revelation, okay? Six. Since we solved problem of what? Avenge, right? How long, O Lord, holy and true, until you, what? Judge and avenge our blood on the... So that means martyrs are crying out. How long, O oh Lord, you're going to convert Paul who killed me? That's what it means. Right. Yes. Isn't that beautiful? Sudden. Yes. Amen. That's right. Amen. You know? Then, then what judge means? What is judgment? Judge, judgment now means different from what you think. Judgment is what? Process of salvation is judgment. Isn't it? The God's effort. The effort of God which is being put in the process of what? Conversion. Salvation. And God. God, please judge my enemy, Paul, according to your judgment. God's judgment means what? The trying to save Paul as much as possible by forgiving and forgiving. And God became successful, isn't it? In terms of Stephen's you know, avenge. And God really established real avenge for the Stephen's blood. Isn't it? Yes. Amen. See? 
I am. That's why I am excited. You know. Yes. Wow. You know. Then you can say here. The answer, which a lot of people misunderstood. Then a white robe was given to each, one, each of them, and it was said to them that, that they should rest a while, while longer, until both the number of their fellow servants and their brethren, who would be killed as they were, was what? Completed. What a nasty answer. Okay, wait. You know, you guys haven't been killed enough. <laughs> what an elementary thinking. Why? Because we are so abnormal, that's why. So, so this is, in fact, if I paraphrase this, okay, God is saying this. Okay, Stephen? Or, 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 or maybe, let's say it is, um, it is, uh, is Abel, right? Abel was the first martyr, right? And Abel was crying out, God, how long I have to wait you convert my brother who killed me. And God is saying, it's tough, Abel. Uh, you know I've been trying. I guess many more martyrs have to die until they are converted. Can you see now? That's right. That's what God is saying. See? How wonderful, right? The Bible is this kind of book. Amen. Okay? Yes. 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 See, now you know, Herbert, you are so deceived, right? That's right. See, Herbert was scared. See, yeah. And since I met the Herbert, you know, and whenever I tell him something like this, he's brightening up. Wow. Wow. This is going to heal. This God is going to give him the healing. You know that? Yes. Yes. Sang Ni can do very much, right? All I can do is, I can reveal to you the God I know, whom I found from the scripture, right? Amen. This is true new start. Uh, let the God heal you, right? Amen. When you know this kind of wonderful God, you will eat healthy food, right? <laughs> yeah. What can you do? <laughs> See? You eat, you, you treat yourself. Why? Because you've just found out you're very important to him. Oh, yes. yes. How can you treat him nastily? Right? You're going to treat yourself differently now. Because now you found out he is that kind loving God. Amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 Amen.